We're TTB, the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau. My name is Anthony King, Labeling Specialist with the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau, TTB. In this presentation, we'll cover distilled spirits labeling, which includes mandatory labeling information, organic claims, and allowable revisions to prior approved labels, along with several sample labels. How to apply for label approval. An approved certificate of label approval, or COLA, is required for your product prior to bottling and removal from bonded premises, or to remove products in containers from customs custody. Bottlers and importers must apply using TTB Form 5100.31 via COLAs online. For products sold within state only, a certificate of exemption from label approval may be filed using the same form. You may also mail a paper application to TTB using the address on the form itself. Keep in mind that paper submissions take longer to process than submitting electronically due to mail delivery times. Mandatory Information 27 CFR 5.32 outlines the mandatory labeling information for a distilled spirits product. Some mandatory information must appear on the designated brand label. The designated brand label is what you identify as the brand label when uploading label images in Colas Online. The brand label must contain a brand name, a class and type designation, and the alcohol content. Please note that for distilled spirit specialties, a statement of composition and fanciful name is required to meet class and type requirements. The Labeling Modernization Final Rule, TD, TTB-158, remove the requirement that the brand label be the principal display panel. In other words, the brand label may be on any side of a distilled spirits bottle, but must show the brand name, class and type designation, and alcohol content within the same field of vision. Mandatory information that may appear on any label includes the bottler's or importer's name and address, net contents, and health warning statement. If the product is imported, U.S. Customs and Border Protection also requires a country of origin statement, which may appear on any label. The following may appear on the designated brand label or a back label if applicable. Sulfite declaration, coloring or flavoring material, FDNC yellow number five, cochineal extract or carmine, treatment with wood, percentage of neutral spirits, commodity statement, statements of age, state of distillation. Brand name. Brand name is the name under which your product is marketed. It may not mislead the consumer about the age, origin, identity, or other characteristics of the product. The brand name must appear on the designated brand label. As you can see in the sample label, the brand name Captain John's appears conspicuously in large text and bold print on the brand label, along with the statement of composition and alcohol content. The class and type designation standing alone may not be used as the brand name on the application. As an option, the name in the importer statement XYZ Company may be used as the brand name as long as the importer statement appears on the brand label. This also applies to the name in the bottler statement for domestic distilled spirit products. Class and Type 27 CFR 5.22 outlines the standards of identity for the several classes and types of distilled spirits. TD-158 finalize the proposal to create within the standards of identity a class called agave spirits. Tequila and mezcal are types within the agave spirits class. Moreover, agave spirits will not be subject to a requirement to submit a formal approval. Distilled spirits may be labeled with a class and or type in accordance with an established standard of identity if the product meets one of the standards. Distilled spirits that do not fit into one of the standards of identity must be designated with a truthful and adequate statement of composition, along with a fanciful name in accordance with trade and consumer understanding. These products may be classified as a distilled spirit specialty or recognized cocktail. For recognized cocktails, a statement of added colors and the class and type of the spirits is sufficient. For example, margarita made with tequila, triple sec liqueur, and FDNC yellow number no. five. Recognized cocktails may use an abbreviated statement of composition that consists of the spirits components in the product and colors or a complete statement of composition. The class and type must appear on the designated brand label. In this example, the designation for this product is rum with natural flavors added, reflected as a statement of composition, located at the bottom of the designated brand label. 
If a class and type designation appears on more than one label, ensure that the designation is consistent on all labels. The class and type designation must appear separate and apart from additional information, and in certain circumstances must appear in direct conjunction with other mandatory information, such as a fanciful name for a distilled spirit specialty. The fanciful name for this label would be Spiced Rum. In addition, this product would require a formal approval since natural flavors are added to the base rum spirit. For formulated distilled spirits products, the statement of composition used on the label must be the same as, or more specific than, the suggested statement of composition on the approved formula. The statement of composition can be found under labeling instructions of the results tab of your approved formula. Alcohol content. The alcohol content is a numerical indication of the alcohol content of the product stated in terms of percent alcohol by volume. For products with significant amounts of solid material, the words bottled at must precede the alcohol content statement. The alcohol content may optionally be stated in degrees of proof in addition to alcohol by volume. Under TD-158, a tolerance of plus or minus 0.3 percentage points is allowed for actual alcohol content that is above or below the labeled alcohol content. In addition, alcohol content ranges are not allowed. The alcohol content must appear on the designated brand label. The alcohol content must appear in the proper format on the designated brand label with the brand name and class and type. If you choose to use the optional degrees of proof on your label, it must appear in direct conjunction with the alcohol content statement. Bottler and importer name and address. The operating name or trade name and the city and state of the bottler, distiller, processor, or importer as listed on the permit may appear on any label. An appropriate explanatory phrase must precede the name and address statement. Some common phrases include bottled by, distilled by, or produced by for domestic products and imported by for imported products. This sample label shows an imported product. The name and address on the label must be identical to the name and address that appears on the importer's basic permit. You may not add words within the name and address statement as it is required to appear except to use additional optional phrases authorized in the regulations. Net Contents The net contents statement indicates the volume of liquid in the container on which the label appears and must be shown in metric volume. Authorized standards of fill can be found under 27 CFR 5.47a. The statement may appear on the label or etched or blown into the container. The statement must be in milliliters on containers of less than one liter and it must be 1 liter or 1.75 liters on containers of 1 liter or more. The net content statement may appear on any label. Please ensure that the format and abbreviations for the net contents are acceptable and in an approved standard of fill. Health Warning Statement By law, the health warning statement is required on all alcohol beverages containing 0.5% or more alcohol by volume and must appear exactly as shown on this slide. This statement may appear on any label. The words government warning must appear in capital letters and bold type. The S in surgeon and G in general must be capitalized. It must appear as one continuous statement with no intervening information and on a contrasting background. The statement must be separate and apart from surrounding text. Please ensure that all the words are spelled correctly and the punctuations match. The health warning statement appears on the back label. Remember that warnings required by other countries about the health effects of alcohol consumption, whether statements or pictorial references may not appear on the label. Country of origin. Imported distilled spirits labels must display the country of the product's origin in compliance with the U.S. Customs and Border Protection requirements set forth at 19 CFR Part 134. The country of origin statement may appear on any label. Coloring materials. Coloring materials are only allowed in certain products. Please see TTB ruling 2016-3 for guidance on distilled spirits produced using harmless coloring, flavoring, or blending materials. If added, coloring material must be stated on the label as colored with caramel, certified color added, or artificially colored. FDNC yellow number five. If FDNC yellow number five is added, the label must specifically state 
contains FDNC yellow number five. Cochineal extract and carmine. If a distilled spirits product contains cochineal extract or carmine, the label must include a disclosure statement such as, contains cochineal extract, contains carmine, or contains cochineal extract and carmine. Please note that FDNC yellow number five and cochineal extract or carmine are the only coloring materials that must be specifically disclosed on the label. Commodity Statement For spirits produced by redistillation, blended whiskeys if made with neutral spirits, spirit whiskey and compounded gin, the percent of neutral spirits and the agricultural source from which the neutral spirits were distilled must appear on the label. Either format shown on this slide is acceptable. For neutral spirits produced by original distillation, distilled from the agricultural source or made from are acceptable. Statements of age. A statement of age is required for whiskey aged less than four years, grape lees brandy or grape pumice, grape mark brandy aged less than two years, and distilled spirits labeled with a distillation date. TD-158 allows for age statements on all spirits except for neutral spirits such as vodka. Organic labeling. The National Organic Program, NOP, is administered by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, 7 CFR Part 205. Applications for alcohol beverages with organic claims are required to submit certain documents with the COLA application to verify that the product complies with USDA organic regulations. The documents submitted to TTB must be in English or have complete translations attached. Organic claims on alcohol beverages must comply with USDA NOP standards. For certain organic claims labeled with 100% organic, organic or made with organic, a USDA accredited certifying agent's preview or ACA must be obtained. This document certifies the review and approval of organic claims prior to submission to TTB. For more information, visit our website at www.ttb.gov. Per 27 CFR 5.33 F, additional information on labels must be truthful, accurate, and specific, and may not conflict with or qualify other mandatory information. What may I change on previously approved labels? Once a label receives TTB approval, you can make certain changes to that label without obtaining a new COLA from TTB. See the complete list of allowable revisions and specific guidelines on the COLA form or on www.ttb.gov. We have created sample labels to demonstrate each allowable revision. A list of allowable revisions to approved labels can be found on pages 3 and 4 of TTB Form 5100.31. Any revisions you make to your approved labels must be in compliance with the applicable regulations in 27 CFR Parts 4, 5, 7, and 16, and any other applicable provision of law or regulation, including, but not limited to, the conditions described in the comments section of the chart below. You may delete any non-mandatory label information, including text, illustrations, graphics, etc. In this example, the gold banner and palm trees were removed from the approved COLA, which is an allowable revision. You may reposition any label information, including text, illustrations, graphics, etc. The text at the top of the approved COLA on the left has been repositioned to the bottom of the label, which is an allowable revision. The repositioning must comply with any placement requirements applicable to mandatory information. You may change the colors, background and text, shape and proportionate size of labels, change the type size and font and make appropriate changes to the spelling, including punctuation marks and abbreviations of words, in compliance with the regulations. You may also change from an adhesive label to one where label information is etched, painted, or printed directly on the container and vice versa. In this example, the shape and size of the label, the text size, font type, and color has changed. The mandatory labeling information has been repositioned and is still compliant with the regulations. All mandatory information must be readily legible and appear on a contrasting background. If you receive the approval for a single label, you may not divide the label into multiple labels without a new approved COLA. All changes must comply with the applicable regulations and changes in spelling must not change the meaning of the previously approved information. You may change the net content statement. The sample label shows that the net content statement has changed from 750 milliliters to 1.75 liters 
which is an allowable revision. Revisions must comply with all applicable regulations governing net content statements and standards of fill. Please ensure that all applicable type size requirements are met for each container size. You may change the mandatory statement of alcohol content as long as the change is consistent with the labeled class and type designation and all other labeling statements. The alcohol content for this sample label has changed from 40% alcohol by volume to 45.5% alcohol by volume, which does not result in a class and type change for this product. You may change the statement of percentage of neutral spirits and the name of the commodity from which a distilled spirit is produced. The percentage of neutral spirits in this example has changed from 90% neutral spirits distilled from grain to 80%, which is an allowable revision. These changes must not result in a change to the class or type designation of the distilled spirits product. You may change the mandatory age statement or delete or change an optional age statement for distilled spirits labels. The age statement, three years old, for this brandy label has been removed and does not require a new COLA approval. These changes must not result in a change to the class or type designation. See 27 CFR 5.22 and 5.40 for further information about age statements and minimum aging requirements applicable to certain classes and types of spirits. You may add, delete, or change bottle deposit information. In this example, the bottle deposit information has been added to the label. You may add, delete, or change UPC barcodes and or 2D mobile barcodes for example, QR codes or Microsoft tags. A QR code has been added to the label, which is an allowable revision. See Industry Circular 77-23 for information about any additions or changes of the UPC code. Any information retrieved from 2D barcodes must be in compliance with all applicable advertising regulations. You may add, delete, or change a lot or batch identification number or other serial numbers. In this sample label, the batch identification number has changed. You may add, delete, or change trademark, copyright symbols, kosher symbols, company logos, and or social media icons. Symbols, logos, and icons may not violate TTB regulations. Advertisements on social media sites must be in compliance with all applicable advertising regulations. You may add, delete, or change optional information about awards or medals. A blue ribbon has been added to this sample label. You may add, delete, or change holiday, seasonal theme graphics, artwork, and salutations. Holiday or seasonal theme information or graphics must not conflict with or qualify the mandatory information and must comply with all applicable regulations, including the rules governing prohibited practices. Examples of changes that require new COLA. A new COLA is required if, among other things, the class and type changes, you add graphics and or text that are not holiday themed, or you add organic references. If you are unsure of what changes qualify under the allowable revisions list, please contact the Alcohol Labeling and Formulation Division. For additional information and resources, please visit www.ttb.gov. And for questions regarding distilled spirits labeling, please contact the labeling specialist using our customer service line at 866 927-2533 and select option 4. Visit TTB's official YouTube channel at usttb.gov for more TTB related content. And remember to click subscribe so you'll always know when we upload new videos.